All right, let's say I want to find a p-value using StatCrunch. And I have a test statistic. So if I click StatCrunch, so let me move this down here. And what I need to go to is Stat. These are going to be, um, I will need, sorry, um, calculators, normal. All right, and then this is a standard one because this is a less than uh, for, the, for this second claim. So what I need to do is down here, I'm going to pick the mean zero standard deviation to one. And then the test statistic is negative 1.08. And I want to find the probability. It says X, but technically that's the Z for the mean being zero standard deviation one. Everything less than this because it's as extreme or more extreme than this. So here's a little visual. This was our test statistic. And because it was a, uh, it said the P was less than, was our alternate hypothesis, then that means we're doing a left tail test. So our test statistic tells us where we're starting from, and we're looking for the area of everything to the left of that. So that area is what we're looking for. That's, that's the p-value. And the way that we are going to find that p-value is, is use the uh, normal calculator on StatCrunch. So going back to StatCrunch, that's what we're looking for. We're looking for the probability that we're less than negative 1.08. And there's our number. So 0 0.1400 or to four places, 1.1401. All right, now what's the critical values? The critical values are determined by alpha. If this was a not equal to, then we would have to go to a between and compute the lower and the upper. But because it is a left tail, because it's strictly less than, if this were strictly greater than, it would still be a standard, but we would use greater than. Okay, if, But because this is less than, we're using less than, and alpha is our probability. So we're going to highlight this and delete it, and notice it's going to make this delete as well. I'm going to delete that probability. Nope, it didn't make it delete. Well, I have to delete both of those. And then type in alpha right here. So... 0 0.01 and then you're going to tell it to compute this number so there's the number we need negative 0.2332 two places okay so that's how you would do this problem with static crunch okay it's stat calculators normal all right and then depending on the sign for your claim, you're either going to use less than, greater than, or not equal to, depending on, well, sorry, if it's not equal to, you got to do it between. And you have to split that uh, alpha value up in half.